Senator Randolph, we have to get going. It starts in half an hour. Your speech could tip the scales of this presidential election. We can't be late. Thank you for your advice. I will be on time. Don't worry. <laughs> As you all know, I'm running for president. If I get elected, I will make a very, very big difference. It's not about today. It is about the dreams and successes of tomorrow. My name is Sam, and tonight at NBN Studios, we have some very devastating news. The Republican presidential candidate has been assassinated. There's not been a face attached to the murder, but authorities are looking very hard. Now back to you, Phil, for the weather. Why, Mike, welcome to Australian weather where we talk about weather. Hey, it's very windy out here. Let's see. Okay. Yes, I understand. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Have a good day, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got it. Senator Randolph, unfortunately, has been assassinated at the town square of New Bradford, Texas. Now, as you all might have also heard, Bobby Chapel has escaped, so the Federal Bureau of Investigation has to divert all their resources to hunt him down. Now, that leaves the assassins to us. So you two are spearheading this manhunt calling Operation Neptune. You both report to me and only me. If word gets out about this, both of you pack your bags and get out of my sight and get back to Alabama. It's around the perimeter. This place could blow up at any moment. Go, go, go! go. Keep your guard up. Attack team one, begin your approach. We're too late. It's gonna blow! Run! are you doing today? Okay. Um, good. Uh, is anything bothering you? How are you feeling? Just my headaches. Okay. So I'm going to have to give you your temperature and just see where it's at. Um, yeah. 98 degrees. Uh, everything's normal. Um, uh, I do have some good news and bad news, news for you. Okay. Um, good news is the surgery is doing great. The bad news is we're going to have to keep you here for another three to four days. What? I'm sorry? No. I have to leave now. Uh, I don't think you understand. There's nothing I can do, sir. Sir. <laughs> yeah, let me know when you're ready for the amputation next time. Hello, Agent 5738. You enjoyed our little game? Well, time to start the next round. How about a little clue? Let's just say this is the capital of the little place you call home. So let's have some fun!
this mean? Are they going to attack my home? No, no. What could it be? Where is your house? 57 North Street, up on the hill. Why? Capitol Hill! I know attack Capitol Hill! Move! Now! Damn, I didn't think those of you could actually catch on that fast. We need more time to plant this bomb! We can take these idiots and then we'll finish the job. Get ready, I'll stall them. in an unfortunate explosion. We were not able to recover the bodies. Well, that is unfortunate. Report to your quarters, please. But, but we're not fired? Not for now. Something strange had happened. It seems the equipment re we recovered from them was not their own. They got it from an anonymous buyer. Now, it appears that they did not orchestrate this. Somebody wanted the senator dead. And who? That is the question. <laughs> Hello, unlikely heroes. Three round delusion may appear that you've won, but this this isn't over. I've been behind this the whole time, pulling the strings behind the curtain, orchestrating these tragic events, but I have a reason for the things I do. In time, you will come to understand these reasons. For now, I will leave you with a few words of wisdom. Trust no one. 